What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Soul Asher, aka Asher Brian, coming at you with a Irwin skill build. Um, performing this live from my Twitch. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it, alright? 55 Irwin. The stats that you want to focus on, the gear that you want to focus on is Viscarious Calling. Viscarious Calling, the set bonus, gives damage to the Blood Soul Workers, attack damage, boss damage, crit percent chance, napalm damage, and crit damage. The main stats that you're focusing on in this stat are attack, boss damage, crit percent, crit damage. This is the best damage set that's going to be applicable for Erwin, okay? After you get this Viscarious Calling set, uh, you also want to be focusing on your Glacial set. Glacial um, giving attack damage, extra damage to boss, crit damage, crit percent. Those stats repeat because those are what we want to be stacking for. Crit percent, crit damage, damage to boss, attack damage. Okay. Um, essentially, the stats that you would want on your accessories, attack speed, attack speed, attack, crit damage, and crit percent. I don't have crit damage because I don't have perfect gear yet. However, if you have perfect gear, you want crit damage and crit percent on both of these rings. And for your uh, your amulet, attack speed, attack, uh, move speed, uh, stamina, those are good stats. Um, if I had some attack on these earrings, they'd be pretty much perfect. But basically, you want attack speed. Like Without a doubt, attack speed is going to be the main stat for your earrings and your amulet. That's priority. For your gear, depending on how you want to build it, you want crit percent primary, crit damage secondary, HP third, okay? So HP is a very essential because Erwin actually has kind of, he has the ability to tank. If there's no Jin in the party, Erwin's gonna be the next best tank. He's ranged, he can kite, and a lot of his skills allow him to avoid combat, whereas other, uh, other classes don't really have that capability, okay? So I have makes a lot of max HP on my chest piece, and this helps me to be able to tank on an Erwin. Max HP, move speed, crit damage on boots, these are almost perfect. These are pretty much perfect. Um, if I get attack speed on my shoulders, that's gonna be main stat. However, crit percent, crit damage, HP as usual, okay? Crit percent, crit damage. That is actually a follower. That is the sound of a follower, so I apologize for that. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, most definitely thank you. However, let's continue. Um, crit damage, crit percent. If this had armor break instead of super armor break on this weapon, it would be perfect. Okay? Now that we're done with the gear, let's move into skills. For skills, uh, on my Erwin, this is a revamped build from my starter build. I have two left over SP because I'm waiting for the 60 a patch and I don't really need to spend this two extra SP right now, okay? Main damage skill, Sky High. Sky High, I use this in conjunction with On Point, Quick Fire, then into Sky High. This is for PvP reasons, okay? If you are for PvE only, then you could probably put Sky High in the second slot or the first slot, okay? The reason I have On Point as number one is because when I use On Point, it procs with my Akashka cards. And I'll go more into Akashka cards later, but they proc on hit, okay? So Sky High, Quick Fire is one, Point Blank is one. I don't use Point Blank. I find it useless because it pushes enemies away, and I don't need to push enemies away because I spec for Dodge Shot. Dodge Shot moves me backwards, and it slows enemies with the smoke morph. This slow is insurmountable when you're farming enemies that have high HP because not only will it allow your group to DPS them more, but it will protect your group because it is harder to get to you when an enemy is slowed in the smoke. This is excellent utility, okay? Aiming is an excellent skill. It allows armor break. This buffs, uh, buffs the damage for you and your entire party. This needs to be maxed, okay? Dodge shot is optional. Aiming is not optional. You want this maxed. Okay, I'm going to release a basic version of this build and put that into the description. However, for me, this is my personal build because I do both PvE and PvP on Erwin. Okay, Smart Salvo, Max. The morph is optional. This morph 
does more damage in PvE and it paralyzes in PvP. However, it's a little harder to land, but once it lands and it paralyzes, it allows you to combo chain, okay? Black Hole groups enemies up in PvE. And Erwin, not having a lot of AoE, grouping enemies is very helpful. So if you are a PvE only Erwin, then it might be better to go for Black Hole, okay? But I do both. I do not have it. On point. For me, this is almost the most used skill on my Erwin because it procs my Akashka cards. My Akashka cards give me attack speed and crit damage, and this is one of the fastest hitting most hitting skills on a lowest cooldown so spamming this at the beginning of the fight and when you're surrounded in pve is going to help you immensely okay bullseye is an amazing amazing skill bullseye allows you to do insane amounts of damage and at three charges you pretty much will one shot any enemy okay um electro nade another main damage skill has to be maxed a thousand a hundred and fourteen damage it's insane sprinter maxed it regenerates sf you cannot do anything as an erwin without this sf regen because you will miss out on immense dps if you do not have this buff maxed exalted this is good for both pve and pvp you can proc this shield and all DPS a boss and not have to move because you're exalted. When you're exalted, you don't take damage and you don't get CC'd. And it also gives this protective buff to your party. So this gives you immense amount of survivability. Soulcaster, amazing, amazing, amazing skill, okay? It's your ultimate, max it out. No explanation needed. Basic attack is max for max damage. Soul strike is maxed because Soul Strike regenerates SP, or SF, I'm sorry. And also, um, it's essentially just a good skill. Uh, when you use it in the air, it inflicts paralysis. That's great for PvP and PvE, okay? Main damage skills, Escape Route, Mastered. Shadow Roll only got a level two. Um, Retaliation is level one, because you just don't really use it that often. Illusion is level one, because again, I just don't really use it that often. Um, if I were to use those two SP skills, I'll probably put it into Illusion, um, just because Illusion is a pretty good skill. However, I don't get hit that often on my Erwin, so I don't really need to use it. World Sprint, you need this maxed because, um, it allows you to combo chain. Combo chaining is awesome on Erwin. You never want to really like lose a combo and it just allows you more combo chains. World jump, okay? Again, combo chain. Endure. Stamina regeneration plus 15%, 50%, I'm sorry, has to be maxed. Lucky, evasion rating. Evasion's a kind of ambiguous stat, it helps. Um, however, uh, anything that's going to allow you to uh, allow enemies to miss you in PvE, it's gonna be very helpful overall. So, this is an awesome skill. SF gloves, this is automatically maxed, okay? So server's gonna shut down in a few seconds, so I'm gonna run into a dungeon and show you a few combos, okay? Let's go into Ned Company. Oh. All right, so I start off my combos on point and I go into, like let's say I'm surrounded, dodge shot, electro need. All enemies are slowed, that gives me a chance to snipe. Now you wanna set your combos up in sets of threes because on that third skill, you get SF regen. So another combo would be left click, left click, right. I call this skating. Left click, left click, right, it's skating. It allows you to have so much mobility as an Erwin. And on that move forward with that right click, you can shift dodge and animation cancel. I call this skating. It is Erwin's most essential a way of movement in both PvE and PvE, okay? Now, my number one most used combo when I walk up to an enemy or a group of enemies, I round them up, I ultimate, 
after that ultimate, I follow up with an on point into a quick fire into a sky high. Number one most used combo. Okay, on the next group of enemies, I'm going to show you my electro nade combo, and this is the combo I use after my focaster combo. I right click electro nade, come in on point dodge shot paralyze and go in to regenerate sf with my skating now again keep in mind skating in between combos when you're fighting enemies that don't get one shot like these is essential because skating allows you sf regen on erwin Skating allows you movement. Skating in between combos allows you to keep combos flowing, okay? Now, on this boss, Electronade, one shot, and we're done here, boys. Um, I will do a more intricate combo guide if you guys request it. I will do a more intricate combo guide if you guys request it. However, uh, for now, this is going to be it. Server maintenance is here. I will see you guys very soon, okay? Thank you for watching.